Welcome God. to Two Modern Vegas. Welcome to Two Modern Vegas. Hey guys, welcome to Two Modern Vegans. I know it's been a while, but we're back. We had a little technical difficulties with our last recipe. Um, we didn't make a video for it because we actually have to change the ingredients because it didn't come out how we wanted it to come out. We have to perfect it first. And today we're making vegan scallop scampi. This was gonna be a really good recipe to impress all your friends and families and anybody that's skeptical about veganism and vegan food and they think that it's weird or nasty. Make them try this dish. It's about to be <laughs> super, super delicious. Y'all, y'all not ready for this. Y'all not ready. Your family's not ready. Your kids ain't ready. All right. They about to think you're the best chef of all time. Okay. They gonna they say this is so damn fancy. Okay. Are you fancy, huh? Yes, you are. I might have to play that track you're in the back. So. so <laughs> <laughs> Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. So we're gonna start out using three king oyster mushrooms and we're just gonna cut them into little discs. Next, we're gonna use two shallots and we're just gonna slice them. Afterwards, we're gonna get two garlic cloves and we're just gonna mash that. You're gonna wanna add about two tablespoons of olive oil to the pan and then we're gonna add in our shallots and our garlic. You're just gonna wanna saute them a little bit but be sure not to burn it. We're gonna add a cup of white wine, six cups of vegetable stock. I use the one that I made, but store-bought is perfectly fine. We're gonna use the juice of one lemon. About four sprigs of thyme. Two tablespoons of tamari soy sauce one teaspoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of Old Bay and a teaspoon of sea salt, a teaspoon of white miso paste. Next, we're gonna use two sheets of nori and you can basically just cut it in four and that'll be fine. Afterwards, you're gonna add that to the pot and give it a good stir and top it with a bay leaf. We're gonna go in now and we're gonna add our mushrooms and we're gonna let this cook for about an hour, but you're gonna wanna be sure to stir it every 15 minutes. Also, you might wanna set a timer so you don't forget about it. Now we're gonna be cutting eight cloves of garlic and two shallots, but you're gonna wanna cut them very thin. We're gonna melt about a fourth of a cup of butter and we're gonna put in two teaspoons of olive oil. Next, you're gonna wanna add the shallots and the garlic to the pan and just saute them a little bit, but be sure not to burn them. We're gonna go in and add a fourth of a cup of white wine. Next, we're gonna add our spice blend and all the ingredients are listed. You're gonna wanna give that a good stir and then you're gonna wanna set aside. Now that the mushrooms are done, we're gonna take it out one by one and we're gonna try to get out as much liquid as possible. As you can see, I patted it dry with a paper towel and we're gonna do that because we don't want it to burn when we try to brown it in the pan. Now we're gonna add it to the pan to be browned and be sure to brown each side. And you don't want it to be too dark and you don't want it to be too light because it's supposed to actually resemble real scallops. So it should look something like this. Now we're gonna put it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes and we're gonna bake it at 350. We put it in the oven because it's gonna help make it be crispy on the outside, but soft and juicy on the inside. Now that that's done, we're gonna add it to our scampi mixture. 
and you're gonna want to make sure you give it a good stir because you want each piece of the mushroom to be covered in the sauce and you're gonna want to do this with the pot on a low heat setting we made a side of brown rice spaghetti and we only used about half a box because it's just us two and that was the perfect amount you're going to want to add that to the pot and give it a good stir make sure each piece of spaghetti is covered with this sauce that's it guys this is our plate this recipe is super delicious and super easy i hope you guys enjoy it this is the moment that you guys have been waiting for are you ready for us to eat this scallop scampi dish are you ready i'm ready, I'm ready. It's so good. It's so It's good. This is easily one of the best dishes ever of all time. Of all time? <laughs> <laughs> Every dish you know, is the best dish of all time. No, but seriously, it's super good, super flavorful. You guys are going to love this. Mm-hmm. It tastes just like scallops. Yeah. It's crazy. You're not gonna believe how much it tastes like real scallops. The only difference is like a tad bit chewier than traditional scallops, but other than that, it's like exactly the same. Flavor is it's just crazy good. You're gonna love it. It's so good guys, and all the flavors go together so well. I don't know if I said that already, but it is really, really good. And this is actually like better than real shrimp scampi or scamp. Well, real sc <laughs> real or shrimp scallop, scampi and scallops. Or scallop scampi. And this also tastes better this time than when we first made it. Yeah, so it's be, so good. Listen, be sure to share this with everybody. Whoever you share this with, they're going to be really impressed and they're going to think it's your show off. <laughs> and you might be able to even fool some people because they're not going to be able to believe, like I always say, that this is actually vegan. All right, so be sure to like, share, subscribe this video. Um, make sure you follow us on Instagram and our Facebook page. Two Modern Vegans on um, Instagram. At, yeah, Two Modern Vegans on Instagram and Two Modern Vegans on Facebook. And don't forget, if you guys do make this recipe or any other recipe that we have out don't forget to tag us in it so we can see it all right thanks guys for watching and we will see you later thanks for tuning in to two modern vegans bye